happy almost Halloween, everyone. I'm feeling like a little bit of Wednesday Adams over here, but it's not Wednesday, it's Friday, and you know what that means. It is time for another episode of Just Food, where we make some of your favorite meals as healthy alternatives. Healthy alternatives to some of your favorite meals. And today, in honor of the holiday of the dark, Halloween, we are going to be making something that is absolutely perfect for your Halloween party that you're gonna be having this weekend. It's called Black Bean Vegan Gluten-Free Hummus, and it has a spider in it. Yes, I said a spider. It's beautiful and perfect, you're gonna love it. All you need to make this is two cloves of garlic, two 15 ounce cans of black beans, drained and rinsed, emphasis on the drained and rinsed part. I forgot to do that. And then we had to start over. So, after that you're gonna need two tablespoons of tahini, which is literally sesame seeds and olive oil grinded up together. So if you don't have tahini sauce at home, you can easily make it, that's what I did. Three to four tablespoons of lemon or lime juice, whichever you prefer. One teaspoon of cumin. Cumin? I don't even know how to say that because seriously, that's like the biggest question I have in my life. Three tablespoons of unsweetened non-fat Greek yogurt. Half a teaspoon of salt to taste. And of course, you're gonna need extra yogurt or tahini sauce for your spiderweb design on top. Let's get started. It's so easy. Literally, you throw things in the food processor, but wait one at a time. Start with the garlic cloves until they process and they're finely chopped. Then you add in the dried black beans until it's pureed. Then add the remaining ingredients and process until it's smooth. You can taste it as you go to add more or less salt. Wait, no, you can't take out. You can only add, so less is more. Once it's perfectly smooth, put the hummus into a serving dish, smooth out the top, and use a pastry bag or cut a plastic bag and put the extra yogurt in there. What you're then gonna do is pipe out three circles and then use a toothpick or a sanitized bobby pin and draw out lines between the circles. That's gonna create this web effect. And then of course, you have to add your spider. You could do this with black olives. I simply use more black beans. And of course, my favorite part, enjoy. Look at this thing without tipping it over. So crazy. I'm not gonna lie though, and you know what, I have to be honest with you because you're my people. I pretty much messed this all up. So I would not be surprised if it stinks. I'm so nervous. But you know what? It's still pretty thick. Here goes nothing. What? Wait, actually. I can't believe I just made hummus. Oh, it's got a kick in there. Wow, this is really, I don't know if it's the chips that I got. These are some like whole grain, multi-grain chips. So good with this black bean hummus. Mm. Wednesday Adams does it again. And there you have it, the perfect chip dip for your Halloween party this weekend. Enjoy your holiday, celebrate responsibly. We'll see you next week.